So good morning, Linda. So today you are two months after your surgery. Yes. And you had foot surgery with me, uh, basically on a condition that is called arthritis of the big toe joint. Right. Or in medical terms, it's called hallux limitis. Yes. And well, tell me a little bit about your story before you came in, because you had it for two years, right? Yeah, and I kept, uh, I, I, I don't know why I've always been a little afraid of foot surgery, because I know the foot is a very complicated uh, part of our body. So I had been getting cortisone shots uh, in, in between those two bones, and it got to the point where I was at the end of the line doing that, because there was no place to put a cortisone shot. Um, and then when you explained to me how this works, especially with the addition of that titanium mm -hmm. in there, and that I would, could expect 10 to 15 years of good use, mm -hmm. I said, you know, I, I really think I should do this. And it's been fantastic. Um, uh, after taking the boot off and using my feet a little bit, uh, and, and doing the exercises every day, good. very, good. very important. And uh, I just feel like it's a total success, total success. I'm doing everything I want to do, walking. I have two sets of stairs in my house. I walk around the lake, not entirely yet, but I will. And I, um, uh, I'm doing yoga again, which I love. So I feel like it's just given me so much back. I had no idea the effect of this problem was because after the surgery when I started walking, I noticed that I was walking kind of on the outside of my foot to protect the big toe. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's why I have lower back pain. Mm -hmm. So I'm training myself to keep my foot straight, do everything I like to do, and I, I think that this I think that this hip pain is gonna go away. It's just gonna so. take a little bit longer than two months. I mean you're just right. in the early stages, you know, you're still right. going through that swelling stage, yeah. range of motion, you know, that therapy stage, so it's only going to be up the hill from now on. I agree. I so, agree. I'm really uh, happy with it. Good. Yeah. So for people who live with constant foot pain and they're kind of hesitant to have it done, what would you recommend? Um, I would say uh, have Dr. Willens look at it as, as soon as possible because I didn't realize the damage I was doing to my leg, hip, and whatever because of throwing off my foot. Mm -hmm. And besides, I had pain all the time. So look into the foot surgery. I mean, it's it's like state of the art now. Right. I mean, things and you don't have to go so to the much. hospital. They have a right. wonderful clinic. So. Right. And uh, that's the thing is, you know, a lot of people remember their grandmothers having, you know, surgery thirty years ago and how this unsuccessful is what, mm, it was. Right. Exactly. You know, but if you think about it, you know, the really foot surgery advanced in the past fifteen years. I think so. You yeah. know, and I've been in practice for thirteen, mm -hmm. and I can tell you, half of the stuff I do now mm -hmm. didn't even exist. I ago. understand that. So, I mean, there's yeah. so many improvements, so many new things that are yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So, so, well, thank you so much well, for thank sharing you. your story. <laughs> thank you. So, you thank really you. added a lot of quality to my life. Thank you.